Tonight, the end of the Texas deep freeze, turning one crisis into another. Three multiple calls, saying that the roof is on fire. Overnight, flames tore through a Colleen hotel. The fire made even worse by a failed sprinkler system, damaged when it froze. The water issue still impacting more than 14 million Texans, now forced to boil or find bottled water till supply is deemed safe. We don't have any drinking water, any flushing water, any washing water, any water. I need the water pretty badly. Today, President Biden approved an emergency disaster declaration offering grants for temporary housing and loans to repair property damage for 77 hard hit counties. But Texas officials say it's not enough. Governor Abbott asked for a major disaster declaration for all 254 Texas counties for both individual assistance and public assistance. This is what Bantu Segal and his wife Paulina came home to, a burst pipe flooding their downstairs. Water went into those walls and our biggest worry is mold for our kids, you know, with anything with moisture related. The couple unaware of the damage until they got home from the hospital, where both worked long hours treating patients, many who lost power for slips and accidents on ice. We can, we can land spaceships on Mars, but we can't figure out how to get energy to communities in Texas. Um, it, it's quite frustrating. Frustration shared statewide. With the extreme weather, energy prices soared. Now residents who had power reporting energy bills in the thousands. The governor holding an emergency meeting tonight to address it. In Austin, nearly 40% of the city lost power for multiple days. This is a catastrophic failure. A catastrophic cost, too. The freeze on its way to surpassing Hurricane Harvey as the state's costliest weather event in history. For the millions still without water and countless others picking up the pieces, help can't come fast enough. And Morgan joins us now from Dallas. Morgan, any idea when this water disaster will be resolved? Yeah, Jose, even with millions facing those compromised water supplies, it is important to note progress is being made. Local communities are lifting those boil notices by the hour. Jose? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.